We've seen what we've seen what Castilia can do. All he needs is one opening. If as long as that opening happens to put you on the ledge, he's always got a chance to blow somebody up. So I think this is going to be kind of a fast-paced match. Not as much as neutral as you can see, but once somebody gets a hit, like they're going to be, I think they're going to be going for it. I remember, I believe last time I saw these two play, how easy kind of getting Castilia to work, but that was a while ago, so I'm interested in seeing what Castilia's gonna do to him. Right now, he's looking real good with these ledge traps, but what's the roll open? Because how easy is gonna take all of that. Oh, that was a good fade away. Get right outside of his range, run right back in with the, with the uh, grab, turn that into a boatload of damage. That oh, I thought he was gonna. gonna be yeah, it. that's the cape. That's the cape I thought was coming. So, like I said, like it, it's only been 45 seconds. Stock gone already. And these characters just have so many ways to kind of just delete each other. There on that roll. It's gonna be a big conversion. Nair just wants to send Castillo away. Yeah, an interesting choice. Calls out the read. Enough. Oh, tries to pull it again. Cabo's ready for it that time. Already Cabo easy laughing to steal you in percentage right here. We're, we're too far we're too far in and we're too deep in the bracket to jump to any conclusions about how the end of this game could go. <coughs> wow, just that was honestly kind of a, like a Lower level back air. I thought you just drifted right into him, but managed to get behind him, not get punished. Yep, go to from the top of the screen. It's a really good way to keep your descent safe when you get put in that situation. Smart on Castilia. Castilia knew that he didn't have enough time. That's a chunk. Oh, yeah, if that had hit anything, it would have been a problem. Oh, that was a super clean uh, lead jump cape. Runs right under the Gordo throw. This is, he's pulling out some anti-Gordo strats that we haven't really seen. Ooh, throw it right back in his face. Because Castilia's Castilia, ready for the cape that time. Yeah, that's the, that's the, that's the thing about Castilia is that people look at DDD. A large part of the reason why people rate DDD so low is because his main zoning tool you can use against him. But if you pay attention to Castilia's play, it very rarely happens to him. He almost never gets hit by his Orangoda. Either because he's zoning it in a way to punish you for trying, or because he's uh he's uh grabbing picking it back up. But Kabi is gonna pick up that game with that clean drop zone trade. One thing Castillo is very good at is he's not gonna get beat by the same thing over and over again. Like with that Gordo, if you're gonna keep cape, jumping up, keeping my Gordo, I'm gonna throw it right back in your face. But apparently he got enough mileage off of the anti-Gordo tech he was doing to get that first game. But now we're starting off fresh on Town City. Let me see how, what kind of adjustments Riley can, uh, Castilia can make on this one. Because one thing that's a real boon for Kabi Easy in this matchup is Kabi Easy does not play the same way for more than like 30 seconds. Even if he's got the same general plan of defense and offense, he goes about it in a different way. Oh, if he had gotten that near to down tilt, it was about to be party time. Oh, yeah. Rolls behind Castilia on the inhale. He's just keeping him trapped in the ledge right now. Grab the neutral get up. to turn things around for Castilia. That's exactly Ooh, what he's Sour spot. Very lucky. Mm, could not get another nair. I think he tried to cape again, whereas he could have just nared and it would have happened faster and might have gotten the second reflect on the Gordo. Now Castilia in the lead for this game. Mm -hmm. Okay. Percentage. I didn't think he was going to be able to sneak that back here in again, but Mario is so mobile. Nice. B reverse on the on the inhale. Keeping him off stage. Wow, big roll read. Not easy right now. Losing a bit of that anti-order can get hit by them every now and then. That's 
Grab punish. He was at 34. He was at 34 when he got hit. Okay. Oh, that's full jump would have taken him. He's so fat that sometimes it's hard to place your hitboxes right on him. Wow. Another sour spot. But yeah. He's too hot to get up here. He normally is not this like just full on aggressive with that spot dodge on the grab. Yeah, hard hard hit in air is in fact safe on shield to shield grabs. Comes down with another L. How do has been very good at maneuvering around him? Light nair to heavy nair. Okay, stuffs the inhale that time. Good move. Oh, wasn't ready for that up B. If he was, he definitely would have thrown out the flood of the cape on it, but Riley is keeping a, doing just enough to keep him off his toes. Riley right now got a lot of rage on him. One big move is gonna take it, but not today. Pretty much nothing is safe on shield versus D or with DDD, especially if you're moving towards Mario's up smash. Ooh, wow. Catches him dashing back. Just charges at him across the stage. He was not ready. They, there's, there's no reason to think that that option was even close to on the table. I I can't believe he pulled that. I can't believe he pulled the trigger on that one. Especially in the situation of the game he was in. That move was so laggy. If he had just shielded it, could have dropped shield, turned around, grabbed him for like 70 damage, counted with him all the way across the stage. But it's Didi. He doesn't have the tools to establish and hold neutral. So sometimes you just got to throw out the big read. And it did work out for him. Get a zoom in on the game here. And we're back. Okay, okay. That's a that's an adjustment. He was not pairing those nares before. And a big, big size change going from town to Smashville here. And that <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. That was a there. that was an incredible pressure sequence. He tried to catch his landing with a dash attack and punished him for trying to punish it because he did the directional air dodge. And then he had his shield low. He knew the shield would forward smash would break the shield. So Kaba tried to do something to get around it, jump out of it, just got clapped by it as that first stock. So Wow. Capes him out of there. Don't you dash attack me again. Castilia is feeling himself right now. He is he is on one. He hasn't he hasn't thrown out this many dash attacks the entire tournament before this set. Now I know it's it's very uh, interesting because you think Smashville small stage is good against uh, DDD, but Castilia loves this stage. Like he's picked it against me. Yeah, he he didn't think that was gonna hit, but I, I, I he wouldn't do it unless it was going to hit somebody off the ledge like that. Castilia's got that. That's that character knowledge. That, that was a knowledge check, and he failed. Right now, just trying to get something to finish off this stock. Oh, he's kind of cracking. Missed the angle on the cape. Rolls into the inhale. Oh man, everything is coming up aces for Castilia right now. Okay, he gets one up smash out there. Finally slows that train down. It kind of yeah, it kind of feels like you just want to get one or two hits just to so like, all right, get my zone, get back in my zone, get back in my groove, and do at least a couple good things before this game ends, so I can feel at least decent about going into game four here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Back here. Oh yeah, he tried to push it too far. I thought he was gonna spit him into the Gordo for a second. That would have been dope. Copy easy on this ledge. Copy wow, easy. and caught the roll behind. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Hit him with the rebound, Gordo off the stage. And like I used to play DD myself, and I'm I feel like that wasn't intentional. Usually when DD players go for the offstage Gordo, they're trying, they're trying to get the stick. They're trying to get the Gordo of the stick to stage. So they can run some, uh, so they can run some ledge punishes off of that. But in that situation, it didn't go that way. But it just so happened that he was right there in the range for the rebound Gordo to hit him off stage and took the game off of it. And I didn't hear any OBR switching over to small battlefield. 
but you didn't pick your song and you got Kirby music. That doesn't fare well to begin. Yeah, that's not that's not a good sign for that's not a good sign for Kaba. Capes of neutral. Sends them right back home. And sometimes that can be really useful because the difference between somebody's forward air and back air or forward air, forward tilt and back, uh, forward air, all right, well, there is no back tilt, but a forward air and a back air, sometimes if you get someone to throw out the wrong thing, you can get a real big opening off of it. Yeah, keeps Obviously him in the, right he's vortexing him. Forward air, okay, no, it just takes the consistent damage. He noticed that the fair combos were not coming out for him like that. Doesn't grab the neutral get up. Instead tries to beat it with a nair. Doesn't work out for him. 25% each Gordo slap. Ooh, Ooh Tomahawk caught him DI'ing in. You've seen everybody get hit by that. Yeah, hate to see it. Nice dash tag. I'm a fan. Still here, rolling his way back to center stage. Wow. Sneaks the Nair in on top of the back air. But Steel Slam Cap needs to get away with a lot of shielding right here, but no shields needed there, just an up smash. Yeah, if he, if he keeps that shield up too long, those inhales are going to start coming in and doing work again. Oh, tries to grab him, but you can't really shield grab the Gordo Toss. Oh, he is playing around him. He is playing with fire right now, staying in Mario's range like that. So far, okay, it's working out for him. Wow, missed the up tilt somehow there. Grab punish? Does not get the grab punish. Ooh. Wow, DDD's so fat, bro. Pushed he should right back out. He should have gotten that turnaround, but DDD body blocked him, so he stayed on the same side, even in the air. But he's still keeping the pressure on. He's still holding that lead. Oh, wow. Pushed him away from the ledge. That Didn't get this. Like easy back on. Didn't get that ledge set up because of the flood, but now he's off stage again. This is where you don't want to be. Big Ooh. shield damage coming yeah. out. Copy Easy's got to yeah. back off. Let that recharge. Exactly. He knows. Wow. Because if you don't, you're going to eat something. Castilia right now just needs one more stock to close this out. Like I said, the day Castilia gets nice air dodge punish. an actual up air drag down, the day Gabriel's horn is sounded. We are never going to see it happen. Oh, man. Kabi is pressing shield for his life right now. Okay. Oh, that's a jab lock, but he is far too fast. I feel like if he had jabbed one more time, it would have pushed him into the sweet spot range for that forward smash. jump right past that dash attack. That's Man, he is... He is so... Kastili is so clean the way he is fitting these moves in, because it feels like he should be getting stuffed out by Mario at every opportunity. But he's just finding these tiny amounts of space that he needs to get some of these back airs and forward airs out. But can't get around that up smash. One too many airs coming on out. And this is still anybody's game right now. Castilio wanted to finish it off right there with that grab. That's Kabi Easy's Gordo, so he can come back for free. Oh, tried to tell him. Yeah, he, he wants that grab back. He knows that's his best chance. Riley right now just Boom. Oh! Don't get that cape out in time. And he may pop off come off. Come out for Riley right there. Riley moves on back to 